Hey folks, this is SharePoint Quester. Today we'll be going over configuring SharePoint 2010 to search our file shares. So to do so, we're going to create a service application, a search service application. We're going to configure a content source to point to the file share, and then we'll go back to SharePoint, create a site collection, and start searching the file share. So to get started, went to application management. We're going to create on uh, manage service applications. We're going to create a new service application, and this is going to be a search service application. Give it a name. Uh, this is going to be a none for the fast service application. We're going to use SharePoint search in here. Uh, configure the search service account. This needs to be a managed account. For application pool for search admin web service, you could either use an existing one or create a new one. I have an application pool for search admin. I call it search admin pool. And then for the application pool for the search query and site settings, I also have a search admin pool, or actually I think I have a query pool in here, a search query pool uh, that I'm going to use. And in here, again, I need to plug in a managed uh, account. So we'll go ahead and provision this new instance of a search service application. Okay, the search service application has been created we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now the topology of this uh, app service application uh, all lives within uh, all the components live within an application server and all the databases live with on one database server you can change the topology later on and that's not the focus for today uh, the focus for today is to point this to a file share and be able to crawl that file share uh, other things to mention, here's our search service application. If you have search administrators who are not farm administrators, but you need to give them permissions to manage the service application, you can come in here, highlight the service application, and then select administrators and plug in their names or their AD group. They will be given full access to central administration through this. Uh, we're going to click on Manage. And we're going to see information uh, about the uh, search administration, basically. Information that you see here on the right-hand side. Uh, I mean, this is all related to what we've just uh, created. So, that, for example, the default content access account uh, sets or changes the account used for authentication by the crawler for this uh, search application. Uh, towards the bottom, the query logging option can be toggled as needed. And this is necessary for all the query reports, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create the content source and we're going to select new content source. This will be our file shares. The type of the content that we will be crawling will be file shares. And the location of the content will be SharePoint 2010 server and we'll crawl the temp folder. You could add more in here. Uh, and then towards the bottom there is a crawl schedule so you could schedule uh, when the full crawl is going to happen daily, weekly, monthly and you can also schedule incremental crawls as well. I'm just going to run it right now. We're going to say start the full crawl of this content and we'll go ahead and click OK. And this will start and we, you could keep refreshing to see uh, you know, how long it takes to uh, crawl your content. Okay, so the crawl completed. What we're going to do next is go to SharePoint Central Administration. We are going to uh, go to Application Management, Create a New Site Collection. This is going to be called, let's put it on uh, Web Application 80 and what we're going to do here is create a site collection we're going to call it file search center and this will be under managed path sites and this is going to be called file search center and then for the template switch over to enterprise select Enterprise Search Center, and let's plug in an administrator in here. 
for the site collection. And let's go ahead and provision the site collection. Okay, and the site collection has been provisioned. Let's go to it. And before we can actually start searching its content, there's one additional change we need to perform. And that is back on uh, the central administration screen. Let's go to application management. Let's manage the web applications. I created the site collection under port 80. So I'm gonna highlight port 80 and then select service connections and make sure that you are tying this web application to your search service application. So we're gonna do custom and we are gonna do search service application two. Basically we're saying, let's go out and query the and crawl and query the content. Well, let's go out and query the content sources that have been crawled in this search service application instance. And we're gonna set this as a default and we're gonna say go. So now once that is accomplished, we'll switch back to our site, go to the search here, let's refresh the screen, and let's search for, if I switch over to my file share, this is C, temp, I've got a file called SharePoint Quester, within SharePoint Quester there's some text, but then there is a SharePoint Quester rocks phrase, we're going to grab this, go back in here, and say paste and try and find this. Okay, and it did find it. It's, sh it's showing it as if on a file share. This is the file share. There's a SharePoint Quester. Within SharePoint Quester, there's a phrase that's called SharePoint Quester rocks. So with this method, you can create service applications, content types to point to your file system, and then leverage a SharePoint site collection search uh, site to, to query uh, those content sources and be able to expose the file share content uh, through here on the interface. Thanks for listening in, and until next time.